they they close in on the case, man. Um, uh, well, they they getting closer. They ain't closing yet. <coughs> they, they finally arrested someone with they said that was, might have been takeoff shooter. Have, have you heard about it? Yes, sir. Uh, DJ Pat. Yes, sir. Man, what, what's your thoughts on it? Have you heard the like the story about what's been going on? Like they were saying, basically, like uh, if some stuff came out. That, well, today I seen another video of what his lawyer said, <coughs> but they said at the time of his arrest, what made them close in. And you remember, uh, we remember we did the interview last time. <coughs> we were talking about they didn't want nobody, no <coughs> to get away or try to flee or anything like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because we thought the little dude, little Cam, when he got arrested, you know they didn't right. wanna, yeah they didn't want him to get away, so they went on ahead and arrested him. Well, then they, you know. They, I guess they, okay, it wasn't him. The shooter was DJ Pat. That's what they okay. allegedly saying. That's what they saying. You okay. know what I'm saying? Um, but they basically tried to say, man, that he he had a flight ticket booked. You know what I'm saying? That he was gonna try to he was gonna try to go to Mexico, but then they said the flight ticket got canceled. Hmm. So I believe what they did, they end up they end up closing, they closed in on him and uh. They got him before he could, you know what I'm saying, make a move. That's what they thought that he was going to try to do, was going to try to flee. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what, what's your thoughts on it, man? That let me know that, um, uh, uh, it's been a crooked game of baseball. Crooked game of baseball being played right here, man. Uh, I, I got uh, I got to talk to my Jay Prince voice right now. Right. Uh. I got a cooking game of baseball, y'all. Uh, that for that means um, somebody cooperated with the laws, uh, faster than what we thought they did. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, ain't nothing canceled on purpose. You understand me? Uh, yeah, I, I thought I thought he was gonna flee. Yeah. That's mean. When you see it there, that means somebody already told him what he what the plan what was. The plan was right, but his lawyer came out and did. She did say that uh, that the flight ticket was already canceled before any of that even happened. Cool. You cool. know what I'm saying? Okay. That's what that's what she said. Okay. You know. But it was one. But it was a flight ticket. Yeah. It was to a Mexico. Ticket to Mexico. When they so when they what? caught him. Well, when yeah. they caught him, he had. Um, I believe he had a. Um, he had. You know, he had a weapon on him. I believe and. He had a lot of cash on him, and he was headed to Mexico. That's where he was trying to go. You know what I'm saying? So, and he tried to do. He tried to get a passport. Okay, what was he doing all the months before all this shit happened? Oh, we need that. What niggas ain't gonna have to know. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't just did all that and got all that before for nothing. Right. You ain't just up and say I'm gonna leave the state. You know, grab. You know, you talk to somebody about this. You pull this money out the bank sometime. Where did this money come from? They follow that currency, nigga. They can follow the problem. Yeah. Cause where that money came from, nigga, that got you ready and got you booked in. Whoever made that ticket and for what they made it for, you understand me? That elite, nigga. I mean, it's it's a. I'm not a detective, y'all. I just feel like if a nigga did somebody wrong to me, I'm, I'm gonna chase the nigga ass down too. But nigga, but if you already had that deal, that means it was a setup already. Mm -hmm. Uh. That setup come from the jeweler, man. You understand? But we already know yesterday too. Another nigga already been killed in Jay Prince and them family. And they just killed a little nigga yesterday. Uh, one of their cousins down and been found killed. You understand me? So uh, they saying that's due to retaliation and what's going on already. You dig know what I'm saying? See, one thing them niggas smart about. Uh, all this shit linking back to that jeweler, man. That got killed, man. You dig know what I'm saying? All that shit is in connection now. Dig you know what I'm saying? So that means it was something already going on that didn't nobody know about it because y'all coming back, they coming back to the city. You understand know I me? Mean? For these niggas to put something together and say, well, when they get here, nigga, we gonna be ready for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody forgot about the jeweler that just got killed down there in H-Town, yeah. man. Because his name wasn't hot. His name was hot to a lot of niggas. That was a good dude. He ain't supposed to get killed down there like that. Then y'all turn around and kill him. Come on. And the nigga try to snatch the chain. You understand know I me? Mean? Come on. They want that chain. You know what I'm saying? Get that chain off that nigga neck. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, there's some shit going on, you know what I'm saying? And uh, for all them guns to be blown at one time. And they still linking that shit to your partner and them. Still, you know, your bullet ain't clean. Your partner and them bullet ain't clean yet either. Yeah. You understand know me? So, man, you know, a lot of fuck shit going on. But the realest thing about this situation, <laughs> it's a dead nigga, man. Yeah. It's a real body laying right there. They don't get to, they don't get to explain what happened. 
And there's a real body laying there, they ain't gonna get to say shit no more. It's a real body laying there, his mama ain't gonna see him no more. His kids gonna have to grow up and graduate with daddy. Look, wrapped up. Yeah. She a good body, but you know, um, that goes back to show, you know, um, we paint pictures about people, you know, perfect, but you really don't know what's going on in people's lives, man. We paint perfect pictures, you know, but you really don't know, um, they only say, uh, Diamond Stone got fucked out, but he was a good nigga, but they don't know what the fuck Diamond Stone had going on. And look at Percy, Percy got killed, that nigga wasn't doing shit no more, she don't know what the fuck Percy had going on. Yeah. You understand me? And, you know, same thing with these niggas. They get killed. That was me, go, man. She, he was good, man. He had everything. See, y'all don't know what the fuck he had going on. You understand me? Uh, let me tell you something, man. Uh, when you connected to evil, she, evil will follow you. Yeah. Thank you, God. Wherever that came from. <laughs> she, when you connected to evil, evil will follow you, man. Uh, some of these niggas do things and think they done got away with it. We don't know what that man did in the past. Yeah. To get <laughs> in the system. Yeah, because all three of y'all certified, systematic. You hear me? Yeah, all them certified. Mm -hmm. You understand me? But what you do to get, yeah, we'll follow you. You get what I'm saying? I know that's right. I'm gonna have to hit you back, I'm at work. But, um. Oh, cool, goddamn, I just took Bro, you said I'm at work. I said, bro, I'm at work, man, I'm at work. You gotta hit me back, I'm at work. But say, uh, niggas don't know what these niggas had to do to get in these systems, man, uh. I told my mama, me and my mama had an argument the other day. I said, mama, do, 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 um, do, um, the devil have permission to kill in this world? Mm. Um, I said, no, only Jesus, God can determine when you go. Yeah. <clears throat> I said, mama, but y'all said God is a good God. Yeah. Can you tell me, can I get, can I, um, get a definition between what's good and bad? Mama, when I was young, you taught me what good was good and bad was bad. What's good? It's good, good, because I, I don't think it's in between. You understand me? It's not in between. He's a good, he's good. Uh, red is red and blue is blue. Which one? Is? It's not in between. You hear me? And I told the same thing. That's how I feel, my man. Uh, and I, what I meant by that, um, I see a lot of people die a bad way. You did what I'm saying? I said, Mama, I see, um, I don't think that's how people supposed to go. Do the devil have permission to kill down here? She said, um, Yeah, she said, Only God can make that decision. I said, I don't think that's true. She said, no, but God determines when you go. So you saying the way we go is that's how God wants us to go? She said, exactly. I said, but I thought you just told me God was a good God. Yeah. You hear me? Uh, and it's, it's not an in-between. Uh, I, I don't think um, good people deserve you know, to go like that. that. God did that, mama. That, ain't, that don't look like no good work. That don't look like something that a good man would do to somebody. Right. I'm just saying, you got sometimes, what I mean by that, sometimes you got to make it make sense. You know what I'm saying, Dom? Yeah. And then, other than that, I tell her, say, look at her. So the devil don't got power because she said no. Only. I say, you know me, I had a great debate. If anybody figured this debate out, this debate right here said, uh, Mom, let's make a bet that the devil can kill just like God. I said, don't you believe in the Bible? She said, yeah. I said, then what did it say that the devil was put here to do? What was the first word it says in that Bible that he was put here to do? Yeah. The first word. We're going to stop right there. And she was pissed off at me. It says, kill, steal, and destroy. <laughs> Mama, what was the first word they said he was put here to do? Kill, steal, and destroy, and devour whoever he may up on the lands of the earth. I said, Mama, so on. But you know, when you tell people, I'm saying that to say this, man, sometimes, you know, you gotta make it make sense, dumb. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't wanna talk about old Pat, man. Oh, that, yeah. that, that man, he, he acting, man. Uh, you know, every, every, every team got a coach. Yeah. Every team got a coach. You know, you just you know, when you get in there, somebody gave that man a play, the man took the play, man. Right. Somebody out with that, man, let me tell y'all something. Uh, I talked about it a long time. That man found a way that he can get away for the rest of his life, is what he thought. He can do it in Mexico. 
Somebody sold that nigga another dream. You understand me? Uh, it's some niggas that ain't done it. And it sound good to do. Uh, but um, my eternal life ain't worth no life down here on earth. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah, my eternal life ain't worth no life down here on earth. Uh, I, had to, I had to take that for myself. But anyway, now, that dude right there, uh, if that was playing like that, that mean the setup was all set up. And guess what? Everybody in on the setup, man. Everybody was in on the setup. You can't tell me everybody. Come on, bro. No. Can't tell me everybody. Ain't. Look who they talking about. See, y'all didn't know them niggas. You know, y'all said no arrests had been made because nobody knew who, who did what. You a motherfucking lie. That's how the game goes, man. Tales from a crib. My partner, Little Trouble, got killed. Didn't nobody know who killed my little partner, Little Trouble. So they say. And then when the nigga was going, we was going to the nigga, I went to the nigga that was in the house. My partner got killed and robbed. I walk in, I said, cuz, goddamn, cuz, what happened, cuz? He told me where to play. Well, he said, man, niggas came to the door and whoop, whoop, whoop. And then I told one nigga to stay outside because he wasn't going to scold. So let the other niggas go out. He said, when you turn around and let the two niggas out, he turn around. The nigga had drew down on my little pot in the kitchen. Yeah. God damn it. By the time he peeped game, the nigga had drew down on him. He said, my little pot in a little trouble. Gave him everything in the house. Told him everything. He could have everything. When he got everything, he said, little trouble tried to run through the door. And the nigga shot him in his back. And shot him. The moral of that story was, uh. Nobody knew nothing. My partner said he ran and jumped through the window. They one of my partner niggas, the nigga that was in the trap said he ran and jumped through the window. So my thing is this. We got down me going to check out, check the trap. I checked the story because the nigga that got killed was a special nigga to me, man. R.I.P. the Little Trouble, Four Trey Little Trouble, Echo Heights, Echo Heights, uh, uh, original baby gangster. You understand me? Right. Yeah. Uh, fine. Shout out to the Federati boys, nigga. R.I.P. Drico, man. But anyway, uh, the trouble when he got killed, man, uh, it was sad. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knew what had happened, so so they say. But I'm saying that to say that it's in this case. When the shit boiled down to the end, we found out and they finally caught the nigga that killed Little Trouble. Yeah. And I said, who was this? Then they told me who it was. I ain't gonna pronounce the nigga name on. He doing his time with fuck it. You know what I'm saying? We shout out to that nigga Gooch. <laughs> oh, no, my bad. I said your name. Shout out to that nigga Gooch and, and Doughboy. <laughs> oh, my bad. I said your name too. Y'all killed my little partner Trouble. Dig what I'm saying? Uh, that was my little homie like that. They killed him. But, you know, I'm not worried about that. Because I done done songs with Gooch and I done hung with Doughboy. You understand me? I always, I always been around killers and, and I knew it. You understand me? But uh, Trouble was my baby. The thing that they did him like that, that was just, I couldn't believe it. But uh, one thing I didn't believe is what fucked me up when I found out them two niggas the one killed him. And Spider G, you was at the dope. You said you didn't know who done it. You said you ran through the window and jumped. You ain't never seen them niggas before. And the sad thing about it, we know that you know these two niggas. You get high with these two niggas. You fuck with these niggas. These niggas you know they, they on that brown sugar too. You understand know me? And you know that. And we know you be on the... So you said... See, my thing is, if Diamond Stone come to the door and say, person, I got some niggas at, that want to make a deal and I let him in, my thing is this. If he ain't got a mask on his face, I know it's Diamond. Yeah. But you got a mask on your face, I can say, I don't know who them niggas was. But if a nigga open the door with a mask on his face, you would never have a conversation like, come in. You hear me? Yeah. You had a conversation, you asked who was scoring, because whoever wasn't scoring, that's what you said, right? You said, you asked a nigga who's scoring, or whoever wasn't scoring, stay outside. Whoever's scoring, come on in. So that means you had a conversation with the niggas that you said just robbed them that you ain't never seen before in your life. See, that's how the game play, man. Yeah. That's how the game play. And it took them years, it took them a while to find these niggas. When they found the niggas that killed my partner, we already knew who these niggas was. Yeah. Saying that to say this, nigga, you did too, nigga. You know who the fuck these niggas is because you said you didn't know. Same thing when this Migo nigga got killed. That's the same scenario. When that nigga got killed, them niggas knew who did that, man. Because when the name, now these names come up, y'all can't say them niggas don't know them niggas. Shit. Ain't gave, shit, come on, man. Uh. Cuz probably tried to know, um, you know. The niggas had money there, why Cuz just didn't just put you in the jet that he pick, picked up for Nessie and just drive you on up out of there, man. Yeah. Nigga, get one of them private things, get you up out of there. 
Yeah, the, the lawyer even put down on the paperwork that she didn't want um, uh, DJ Pat to have any access to running at all. Not, yeah, and then she didn't want him to have any connections with mob tops. Like, you know, Jay Christian was mad about that. Like, you know, uh -huh. like, why you got us down? Like, we, you know, it makes them look bad. You know what I'm saying? It make them look bad anyway. It make them look bad when they just say nothing about nothing. Yeah. Make so them look you, bad. Do you think this this hurt hurts them as as a whole? Like you know the whole, you know. It, no, it destroys them. Yeah. Um. I mean, only 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 the dumb will survive. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Not the smart. Shit. Only the dumb will survive. You understand me? Um. That that's not that's not one thousand man. Um. Uh, Coldest thing, man. That nigga son jumped in the car and left that night, man. Didn't didn't didn't, didn't say nothing. You hear me? Man, you, you already had a um an extra car to go get in. That play was set up, big homie. That wasn't no that wasn't no motherfucking uh, accident shit. That wasn't no accident shit right there. You know, that was too many. It was too many. Um, uh, nigga, what you come in? Then why you leaving that? You hear me? Yeah. If you came in this, what you got this out here in the back waiting for you for? Cause I know something gone, or something gone. And then y'all try to dress it up, say that's how the security team wrote they think, you know, situations like this when shooting going on, he jumped over, he stepped over the body like it wasn't shit. Now he stepped over that body cause the job is done, let's get out of here. Hello! That's what that step over was. No, nobody step over nobody, bro, that just got shot like that. <laughs> and, and go and go get in the back of the car, go to the well, back. Well, yeah, I don't think he stepped car. over. I think he walked by him and, and he just didn't. Okay, that's it, like He just that. didn't have, and you know, a lot of fans was tripping right, about Right, right, right. But, you know, we're not talking about nothing okay, that's okay. not on the internet. Right, right, right. So, uh, you're say that then, yeah. what you said. What did he do, Dom? He, he walked, walked by. by. Yeah, I'm going to say that, that sound not better. showing no emotions. Emotions. Yeah. Okay, because why? Why you think he did that, Dom? Because I do. Because you got to hurry up and get out of here. I got to go. Yeah. I go, you mean no CPR, no checking CPR right, no nothing? Nah, I gotta go. Just walk by, stepped over, whatever. You might as well have jumped over. You understand me? Because you just walk by him like it wasn't shit. Like wasn't nothing going on. We didn't see a pause or nothing, a slip down, a, a bend down, a check on or nothing. That said a lot, huh? Your actions say a lot. Uh, ain't nobody gonna wait, you gonna wait, niggas on your clock, you ain't gonna wait till the ambulance get here? Nah, I'm gone before they get here. Yeah. You already know the shooting is, they ain't finna shoot you, nigga. Yeah. That bitch been that. Yeah. Yeah, do me dirty, ain't you, man? Niggas, I already talking about roast was on another nigga wall. I got, uh, <laughs> had me going stupid. Bars. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Had me going stupid, but anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. man, um, them niggas know. That's a sad scenario, man, but, um... Yeah. We free. Yeah. We free. Hello, world!